Well, May is here, the month where we really get going in the garden and of course in the greenhouse as well. So as the soil is much warmer and when frosts have completely passed, it's the end of spring and we're looking into the summer months. So it's a great time of year for you to be hardening off your seedlings that you've kept undercover, perhaps in the greenhouse or in a grow house. So you need to place them outside in the days for a couple of weeks and then perhaps overnight as well until you're ready to plant them out. They'll be nice and strong and healthy then. So brassicas can go out now, squash, uh, salads, all kinds of things. And if you're thinking about growing some summer annual seeds, as soon as that soil is warmed up, you can directly sow lovely flowers such as Love in a Mist, Nigella Love in a Mist, which is gorgeous, candy tuft as well. Uh, scabious, cornflowers, sunflowers, zinnias, they can all be sown directly in the soil. And also the weather is going to start warming up and I can't always be here at the allotment, which is where my lovely rhino greenhouse is. So I've created a grow bed at the, in the base of the greenhouse, which is basically a pond liner filled with shingle and then with water poured in. So essentially it's sort of like a pond. And then my pots of tomatoes and cucumbers will stand on that and they will be able to draw up the water. It means less need for watering and it means less time needed for me to come to the allotment to keep on top of them. It also helps with the temperature within the greenhouse as well. So I'm really excited for May and uh, there's loads going on, so busy, and I'm gonna get on with it. I hope you do too.